So what we got here is a zero water filter. I got it at Walmart. Um, I had a, the filter for it, used it for quite a while. It started not producing good water. Um, it kind of had a smell to it a little bit, so I decided to throw it in the garbage. Then I decided maybe pull it out of the garbage because after I already went and bought a new one. And I decided to see if I could actually clean what's inside of it. And so I was able to take it apart pretty easily. You just run a razor blade around the edge here. With, when that's on, run it out there. Butter knife, popped it out. There it was. That was what was inside. And I was a little confused of what I was looking at. I was expecting just to see um, uh, activated carbon. Uh, but no, it was this stuff. This kind of weird th stuff. And I did not know what it was. So I went online and did a little research and found out that that is something they use in water softeners. It's uh, an ion exchange and it's actually not super expensive. I was looking on eBay because I was considering what do I have to do? I could maybe make my own filters and all this. And uh, you can see the carbon in there. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not magic. It's nothing that zero water just makes. It's it's normal. You can buy it anywhere. Uh, so basically, these uh, consist of activated carbon. Uh, there's, there, let's, like, let's use this because here's a diagram. You have a filter system up here. That's why they call it five stages. Filter system, activated carbon, and the ion exchange here. And then there's another uh, thing for fine particles uh, so nothing gets into your water. Um, this worked really good for me for a long time. Um, but eventually they do get, you know, particulates in and everything and the water quality suffers. Um, so I was kicking around the idea of actually using this, buying everything I needed on eBay and putting it back in. And just, uh, because obviously if you buy in bulk, it's going to be a lot cheaper. I bought four of these and it was nearly $50. And uh, the stuff you can get on eBay, it's, it's going to be cheaper just to make my own. Then I got the idea that I wonder if I could wash this stuff. So all day today, um, I've been filling it up with water, shaking it really good, giving it a swirl, letting it settle back down, dumping out the water. And I've done this probably 10 times today. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, repack it back into this one and then we're gonna go ahead and run my water through it and see what kind of readings we got so uh, let me go ahead and put that back inside of here and I'll get back with you so I got it back in there it's still dripping out water now the water I used was from my reverse osmosis and we'll test that water just so I can get a base and see uh, what that's coming out of. All I'm going to do is uh, pop this uh, lid back on. All right. And it's still going. And uh, what I'll do is let's take a reading. Let's put this in the zero first. Drop it in there. That way we can use this cup. Um, we'll get a, a reading of how, what's coming out of my uh, filtered water here. So, quick test. Ooh, on. There we go. Hmm? It's at zero. It's, it's reading at zero. So just to make sure it's really already producing zero, let me, uh, let's run regular tap water. See what that's going at. Okay, that's doing something. I'm in uh, Northern California. It isn't well water, it's city, um, but uh, that's that's pretty good. The bag actually says that where California is in the 300 to 400 range. So the fact that 
and I don't have any filters going to that. That's just how it is coming from the water company. So um, we're at 88 uh, for our uh, normal water. And, um, and our reverse osmosis is coming out zero. So what I want to find out here is can, can this zero bring our tap water to zero after it's been used, taken out, and washed with clean water? Let's find out. So let me dump out everything else. We're going to fill that up with the, uh, this one that was ranging in the 80s. And then we'll give it a test after it runs through. Now, this is the very first run, so I'm aware that the reverse osmosis water is probably going to be still in that filter a little bit. So we'll go ahead and run that, and we'll just run a test for fun, and then we'll run it again. And that's where we'll get a real test to see if it's actually taking out everything that the tap has. We'll be back. All right, well, that... That reservoir just finished up there, so let's go ahead and pour it. I'm not expecting, I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting zero, that's for sure. Let's turn this on. All right, so this was just first run through there. Um, we'll see what's going on. Okay, it is at zero. Maybe that's just because there was a lot of that clean water from the reverse osmosis in there. Um, let me go ahead and fill it up again and run it again. So let's turn that off. I'll dump this one out. And we're going to dump all this out. So the next water that comes through here will all be from the tap water that was reading in the 80s. And if we get zero this time, I think I, think I stumbled onto something. <laughs> That would be nice. It would save me some money. So there we go. I'm going to run it again. All right. So it's all passed through the filter. This will be the real test of what it can do with that nasty water. Not so nasty. It was at 80, which uh, not too bad. I'll turn that on. Let's see. This should all be just tap. And look at that, that's at zero. That's pretty incredible, actually. That's an old filter. It was just washed. Huh. Um let me let me test the uh the water again just to make sure that this meter is reading right, because that's crazy. 87, 86. Okay. Now I haven't washed this out, so there's going to be, obviously there's going to be some contaminant in there because I didn't wash it out with my reverse osmosis. Let's just, let's just see. <laughs> it's still at zero. <laughs> That's crazy. I was not expecting that. I thought we'd, I thought it would just reduce it. Um, huh. I, I, I literally just spent what was it 50 55 bucks at walmart for a four pack and i'm not even going to open that now you know i really think that zero is got to be the best um water filtration for the fridge i, I almost feel like i don't want to upload this video i don't want them to lose any money because they're great there there's uh, no other filters that are like this uh if you go and look at other uh, deconstruct uh, where they take apart filters of Brita or other ones. There's no other filter like this. Uh, but um, that's that's pretty cool that you could just wash it out. So I suppose if you have a, a big jar and a razor blade and a butter knife, you could wash out your Brita filters. Um, I have the reverse. I, this is what I used before, but now I have the reverse osmosis filter. So what I'm still going to be using this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill it up uh, with the reverse osmosis and then put this in my fridge to keep it cold. Um, but I'm not going to put that new filter on. It's reading zero. 
Um, I'm going to run it and see, and I'll keep checking it and see what happens. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I literally had that, that filter was in the trash and I bought those and I thought, you know what? I wonder if I can wash that since I have clean water, since I have a reverse osmosis that's going to push out clean water. I wonder if I could wash the granules in them, get it clean and run it and just see what happens. I mean, I thought at least maybe it, it might not work a hundred percent, but I mean, <laughs> it's at zero. That's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm going to run that for a while and, and we'll see. So, uh, the only, the only thing I could say about this experiment that I didn't show was I didn't take a baseline test of what that filter was before we started everything. That's not a new filter. That, I ran that. This is that's the one that came with this, and I've been running it for a long time. Um, our water here is pretty pure anyway, so I mean, it was. It's not like it had heavy contaminants, but it smelled. It what it wasn't good water anymore. It was getting to where it wasn't quite as bad as the taste in the tap. Uh, it doesn't have bad taste, but it's just not. It's not pure. Uh, you could definitely tell the difference. So that's why I even went out and bought other filters. Um, but I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do like this company. This company is great. Um, so, I mean, if you don't want to fuss with all this, then definitely just go buy the filter. It's going to last you. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so we'll wrap it up. And uh, that surprised me.